Sigul, should I order my new goat model with futures or FCS spin boxes? That's a good question and it's an important question because our fin box is the foundation that secures our fin to the board. But more importantly, it's the conduit that transfers energy from the fins to the board and from the board back to the fins again. So what do you say we do a little amateur science, break some stuff and see what we come up with. This first test is organic. It's just the fin box and a routed cavity with no resin. Well, that was a lot more force than I thought it was gonna take. Um, 19 pounds to pull it out of the fin cavity. And as you can see, there really isn't much damage at all. All right, I think we can call it there. This one wasn't quite so dramatic, but um, the good thing is our numbers were similar. For the first one, we got 19. This one, we have 18 and a half. Now let's see how the FCS box compares. There's not much damage to the foam. Actually, there's less damage to the foam. The big difference is that this one only had, took six pounds to pull it out versus the 19 and 18 five of the futures. Let's do the other one and see what we come up with. Well, that one was came out even easier. That one came out at 4.5 pounds. Now let's step it up a notch and see how they do bonded with epoxy resin. Wow, that one really popped out. You can see um, just how much laminating the box into the foam helps. Woo! 57 pounds. 57.82 pounds. That's a lot. That's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. All right, 57.8 on that second pull, 52 on that first pull. Now let's see what the FCS can do. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, the fin popped out at just 14 pounds. So I'm gonna reset the fin, add a grub screw, we'll redo the test and see what kind of result we get. I saw a crack propagating from this inside edge. It circled around, silhouetted the um, fin box. And a moment later, I saw a small lip form and bang, the whole thing just popped, just came right off. FCS, pull number two. All right, so there's our result, 39 pounds, 41 pounds. And it's interesting that both the first pull and the second pull resulted in the box coming out with the foam. And the futures had higher numbers of 57.8 and 52, and the box came out, but the foam remained intact. Kind of interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. For this third pull, the fin box has been bonded to the foam and laminated with a 644 glass job. All right, I think this shows just how much force it takes to break a fin box out of the board. We're at um, basically 100 pounds. And as you can see, the fin is completely bent over and there's a bit of delamination on the inside, but aside from that, it's not going anywhere. We'll go right to 100 pounds with the FCS box and see what that does. This one's gonna be inconclusive because what's happening is the box is deforming, but I am curious. So I'm gonna do a second pull on the other side and see if we get a different result. And 51 pounds. I had it cranked up to 60 and then it just started decaying back to 50. And I see kind of the same thing happening. The box is deforming and um, it just won't go above that like 60-ish, 65 pound mark. It just slides back. In fact, we're all the way back at 48 pounds now. So it is what it is. And we're gonna call this one at 65 pounds. And again, 
keep in mind, this is just amateur science and amateur science at the very best. So please don't take it too seriously. We did some stuff, we produced some results, and we came up with some numbers along the way. Now circling back to that original question of, should you order your new GOAT model with Futures or FCS VIN boxes? Both companies make quality gear with advantages and disadvantages, strengths and weaknesses. Hopefully, this demonstrated some of those characteristics and perhaps may be of use to you when it comes time to ordering your new board. So there you go. There you have it. A little amateur science and something about fin boxes.